Local 4, we're all for pets. Hello and welcome to All for Pets, I'm Priya Man. I'm going to explain that in a second. I'm Jason Carr. We have lots of great stories for all you pet lovers coming up, including unique gift ideas and look at what it takes to be a therapy dog. And you might know we always have a rating All for Pets spokes pet and it's time to meet our latest winner and he's the first spokes pet that you can meet in person. He's also our first spokes horse, of course, of course. <laughs> Drive down Joy Road in Detroit and you'll see this sign. It could be Beamer, a 26-year-old Tennessee walker owned and adored by Edie Abramchek. Who's my guy, huh? Who's my guy? Beamer lives at the Buffalo Soldiers Heritage Association stable inside Rouge Park, one of the city's hidden gems. In 1969, Edie moved to this area. At the time, the stable was a Detroit mounted police station. I would watch the horses from across the road. And then later, as an adult, I'm driving down the road and I see horses again. There hadn't been horses on this property for close to 30 years. And lo and behold, I introduced myself and the gentlemen here were the Buffalo Soldiers uh, reenactment group. Edie's always loved horses. They have such a calming effect. You can't be upset when you're with horses. It just is a very relaxing atmosphere when you come to the barn. In 2013, Edie met a 21-year-old horse who needed a new forever home. Beamer, the love of my life. And she brought him to his new life in the city. Beamer loves children. His demeanor completely changes when children are around. He's very much interested in them. I have seven grandchildren who all ride Beamer. Get your hands in front of the horn. That a girl. Beamer loves children so much, he's volunteered with Camp Casey, a nonprofit that provides horseback riding opportunities to children living with cancer, including horsey house call for kids who can't go to camp. And he helps with the History and Horses program at the Buffalo Soldiers Heritage Center. Visitors of all ages learn about the contributions and bravery of the Buffalo Soldiers and how to care for horses. Every horse is unique and Beamer has his quirks. He has a habit of pinning his ears which to everyone in the world means an angry horse, not Beamer. <laughs> Beamer, that's just what he likes to do is have kitty cat ears and he will pin them back. Beamer also has a girlfriend, Miss Penny. She and Beamer are best buds and they will groom each other every morning and uh, look out for each other. Out in the pasture, whether they're just the two of them in one paddock alone or whether they're the group, they tend to stay side by side. Beamer has lots of love to give, and Edie thought he'd make an excellent promo star. I am a big, big fan of WDIV, all for pets, and I entered Beamer because he represents all that is good in Detroit. When Beamer found out he was the all for pets spokesperson, he was thrilled. And the first thing he demanded was a brand new halter, which a friend of mine made for him. Edie only lives seven blocks from the barn, so she visits Beamer every day. But unlike the other All for Pets spokes pets, you can meet Beamer too, along with all the other horses and barn cat Caesar. I wanted him to be a part of the All for Pets program so that the folks of Detroit and her surrounding communities come out to the barn and enjoy what we have here. This is my treasure. He's my boy. Beamer would love to meet you, and we have more information about the Buffalo Soldier Heritage Center at our website, clickondetroit.com. Winter has its challenges for we humans, driving on icy roads for one, stopping yourself from eating all that delicious macaroni and cheese comfort food. I can never stop myself. Well, our pets face challenges of their own when temperatures drop, and some of them are things that you might not even think of. So we asked veterinarian Dr. Kelly Myers for her advice. <laughs> Many pets love the winter time, whether they're playing in the snow or watching it fall through the window from the comfort of the couch. If your pet goes outside, there are some things to keep in mind, like don't let your dog get salty. Most snow melt items are made out of salt, some kind of salt, either calcium chloride or sodium chloride. And so it could be a little bit irritating to the paw pads, but it's more important that if they ingest it, salt poisoning can be deadly in dogs. So it can cause them to um, act like they're drunk. They can have vomiting and diarrhea, um, seizures. So it can be really serious and they can die from it. So we wanna make sure that that bag of salt is protected and pets can't get into it. Make sure that those paws are cleaned off when they come inside, make sure to really wipe them off good, make sure that their feet are trimmed really well in the winter so that they're not getting ice and snow melt stuck in their fur. Carve out some space in your coat closet. 
So if you want your pet to be stylish this winter, absolutely dress them up. The smaller the dog and the less fur, so maybe thinner fur, they need to have maybe a coat. But a big dog with a nice big thick fur, they don't really need a coat. But it won't hurt them if you put one on. Just like with you, you don't want anything that's tight fitting or too constricting for them, not too overpowering, not too many accessories that get in their way of moving, things like that. So one little clip under the belly is good. Um, sometimes there's a little collar, that's good, um, but not too much. These boots are made for dog walking. It's really beneficial because if you think about the salt and the snow melt and chemicals that are out on the ground, it really protects the dog's feet from that. So it's really helpful. And then also if it's really cold outside, it does give them some insulation for those really sensitive pad parts. It takes them getting used to. They're not used to wearing shoes. So just go slow, start one at a time, get them used to it, use lots of treats. Fool a fussy puppy who doesn't like to do her business when it's cold and wet use a puppy pee pad. Um, they're plastic on one side and soft on the other and you could put that actually over the snow and then put your pet, if it's a small, it's usually small dogs, put the small dog on that puppy pee pad and that makes them more comfortable so that they'll go outside. Protect that snout. There's certain dog breeds that are actually very prone to getting problems on their nose. It's called lupus, and it's more prominent in the winter time because of the reflection of the snow. So putting a little vitamin E or even sunscreen, not forgetting that we can get sunburned in the winter too, especially with that reflection of that snow. So just a little bit of vitamin E on the nose and then sometimes on the paw pads is really helpful. And if you're going over the river and through the woods, pack for your pup as well. Taking your vaccine history, any medication history, any medications that your pet's taking, make sure to pack all of those when you go, especially if you're going overnight. And then if you leave the state, you actually have to have a health certificate to leave the state. A lot of people don't know that. Even if you're in a car, you have to have a health certificate. I had no idea about health certificates for pets. No. What about Zen? How does he do? Oh, Zen struggles in the winter with the salt. I literally have to carry him to a spot where he can do his business and then carry him back into the house. Sounds exactly like Charlie Tickle. <laughs> She's got her tail tucked. Right? <laughs> you feel bad for him. Yeah, I was like, well, come here, Charlie. We'll be right back. From Curious George to Mr. Ed to Tom and Jerry, there are lots of legendary on-screen pets. See if your favorite made the top five list. And if your pet made the nice list, we have great gift ideas to keep him or her busy in body and mind. But first, dogs on a snuggle mission. See how these pups spread smiles and help the healing process through pet therapy. The All for Pets special is sponsored by Premier Pet Supply. Meet our All for Pets Insta friend, Lucky. She's a seven-year-old puggle, that's a pug plus a beagle combination, which makes for a very pretty face. Lucky is very confident and loves her friends at doggy daycare. She's known for making herself comfortable on any available puppy bums, so her friends must love her too. Lucky's been on Instagram for about a year and a half and has more than 7,000 followers, and you can follow her too at Lucky the Puggle. Uh, Lucky the Puggle and follow. I love that. Look at how many followers she has. Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm just one of thousands. <laughs> Lucky is too cute for words. And you know, there's a lot of dogs with jobs. Military working dogs, police dogs, and bomb sniffing security dogs. Those are pretty tough careers, and dogs have unique skills that make them invaluable to the team. But there's a softer side to the skills dogs can offer. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes just being there for a cuddle is enough. We went to Royal Oak Beaumont Hospital to meet some of the therapy dogs who bring a little bit of normal to stress situations. This little face can light up a room, lift spirits, and help heal aching hearts. He's Reggie, a 10-year-old Lhasa Poo who has an important hobby, volunteering as a certified therapy dog. Reggie is just one of the honored guests at a party to thank therapy dogs. Our therapy dogs bring a sense of comfort, support, and healing to our patients and families. Attended by some puppy-loving pediatric patients, too. It just brightens up your day if you're feeling down or anything. I don't know, there's something about dogs, they just always make you feel good. They want to be loved and they want to be loved by you and you like you can tell that and you just give them love and it's a two-way street kind of. 
There are about 70 therapy dogs who volunteer at Royal Oak Beaumont, and about 20 of those are handpicked to visit children in pediatrics, like Reggie. He's amazing. <laughs> he just okay. hopped right onto my lap, and he's just been here ever since, and I love him. I've been in the hospital overnight six times, so I've had a couple therapy dogs come to visit me in my rooms. They're pretty much what I look forward to the most when I come here. Oh, <laughs> she's gonna give you a kiss. The dogs help the patients relax. They, they help them uh, not focus on themselves. They give them someone they can relate to. It just makes me feel like closer to home and it makes me like remember my dogs at home and how much I miss them and makes me miss them a little bit less. Therapy dogs must go through training and be certified before they can start volunteering. A good therapy dog is a dog who will mind the handler, look at the handler, it's quiet, will not bark does not become startled with loud noises. Therapy dogs must be able to come, sit, and stay, but also possess that calm demeanor that welcomes cuddles and the stamina to keep them coming. Reggie can normally do an hour and a half. Uh, we live to visit ICU and pediatrics. Reggie can curl up and get in bed with some of the patients that can't move. So it works really well for him and the patient. Therapy dogs often pass out trading cards for patients to keep as a memento of the visit. And it's not just patients and parents who look forward to seeing the pups. The hospital staff gets a pick-me-up with every pet. Dogs love you for what you are. They just want your love. They're more compassionate than humans. We seem to judge and we seem to reason. They're not reasoning anything. When they walk into a room to see a patient, whether it's a child or adult, they haven't reasoned. They just know this is someone who may give them love and they're willing to give theirs. Reggie and his friends bring so much comfort. It's so nice to see. And Reggie even has his own Instagram page, of course. You can follow him at Reggie underscore and underscore Lorraine. All right, if you think your dog has what it takes to be a therapy dog, they're always looking for more volunteers. We have a link to more info on the All for Pets page at clickondetroit.com. Many hospitals also have their own programs, so check with one near you. I know we're both proud pet parents, but I don't know if either of our dogs would be cut out for that. Zen is too high energy, and yeah. Charlie Tickles is just like... See, that's a real problem. I, I mean, she, she barely likes us. <laughs> Meet our All for Pets Insta friend, RJ. He's a three-year-old Tibetan Spaniel Pomeranian mix who always wears a bow tie. This dapper dog loves treats, but never store-bought. RJ's mom bakes fresh mitten treats just for him. She really loves them. RJ loves snuggles and keeping watch over the neighborhood. His favorite toy is a tennis ball, of course. He's been on Instagram for about two and a half years, and he has more than 500 followers. You can follow him, too, at RJ the Pup. RJ was just adorable. Adorbs, totes, my goats. <laughs> Hashtag millennial. Around the holidays, your pet may be on your shopping list. In fact, 53% of all dogs get a holiday gift. Just 38% of cats get a gift, though. If your pet deserves something new beyond just a chew toy or a bag of treats, we have some great gift ideas for family members with four legs. Cats love boxes, but you can do better than cardboard. The Compression Cat Box is a collapsible bed that gives your cat a little squeeze. It snaps together and cats like the safe and cozy feeling. Plus, the Compression Cat Box stays snug. It won't stretch and wear out like cardboard boxes do. The Aquapaw Slow Treater lures your dog to the tub with a promise of peanut butter. Suction the Slow Treater onto a surface and then spread squeezed cheese, mashed banana, peanut butter, or any other treat. It takes dogs time to get every bit out from around the little nubs. Hopefully enough time to trim toenails or get some grooming done. Cats run the internet and now your cat can check his Instagram account from his own laptop. The Laptop Scratcher comes with a customizable home screen, a scratchable keyboard, and of course, a mouse. Cats can sharpen their social media presence and their claws. 
Trixie Strategy and Snack Toys challenge your dog to think before they eat. They come in three levels of difficulty. With the easier toys, dogs simply slide pieces around to reach their treats. At higher levels, they have to make chess moves or open drawers even, sometimes in the correct order so they get a treat. There are strategy toys for cats too. Slide and hide the treats and see if your kitty can get to the bottom of how to uncover the goodies. Even just a slight challenge trying to reach the food can help slow down overeaters. The Pebby Smart Ball plays with your pet when you're not around. Each ball has a built-in camera and laser pointer that you can control with your smartphone from afar. Or turn on autoplay and let Pebby entertain your pup on its own. You can also get an alert on your phone when your pet bumps the ball so you know she's ready to play. The Mouser by Petronics is a similar toy, but geared toward cats. The durable toy taunts Kitty with its tail rolling over carpet and tile with ease. Interchangeable tail attachments keep it interesting, and built-in sensors can sense what's going on nearby and when your cat gets close. You can play in person or choose different games in auto mode and let Mouser do the work. For truly pampered pets, there's the Pet Walk Dog and Cat Door. The high-tech doors only open for your pet, so they're more secure than a standard pet flap. They're airtight, insulated, and can be installed in a door or a wall. The door even looks slick. It comes in different sizes and colors. You can even upload your own design for the door. But Pet Walk is a passage for very posh pets. It retails for around $2,000. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Pet Walk is not in the cards for Charlie Tickles and Violet. Yeah, Zen might be a little disappointed. He'll have to stick to a chew toy this holiday. One that he digs up. Yeah, exactly. They already had and forgot about. <laughs> we have links to all of these gift ideas on the All for Pets page at clickondetroit.com. And call us if you install a Pet Walk door. We'll be right back. That's newsworthy. <laughs> We've had a dog, a cat, a horse, a bearded dragon, and a pair of toucans. Now we're looking for a new All for Pets star to put in our promos. How to enter next. The All for Pets special was sponsored by Hagopian, Premier Pet Supply, and the Michigan Humane Society. We want to pay tribute to our Insta friend Maggie, a beautiful Shih Tzu. She was an expert at Tongue Out Tuesday on Instagram since 2014. She loved dressing up and hanging out on the couch in her home office. Maggie traveled all over Michigan, including to Quaminon Falls. Maggie was 12 years old when she passed recently. She lived a wonderful life full of love from her family and her more than 18,000 Instagram followers so nice to celebrate such a long life. Maggie was a very sweet little dog. And very loved. If you have a beloved pet at home and you think they have star power, we want to hear about it. The search is on for a new All for Pets promo star, and that furry friend watching with you on the couch right now could be the big winner. Yeah, here's how to enter. <laughs> First, there was Handsome Hamlet, the English Bull Terrier who served as our inaugural spokes pet. We rolled out the red carpet just for him. Then came Rango, the bearded dragon who got all gussied up for his TV debut. Next came Tiki and Kona, a couple of toucans who love each other and their whole family. <laughs> then the crown went to McCallan, the Scottish fold cat, another dapper pet who wore the honor well. And now we have a reigning and neighing spokes horse Beamer, the apple of his mom's eye who's never said no to a carrot treat. Could your pet be next? If you think your furry, feathery, or scaly friend has what it takes to star in an All for Pets promo, enter the Promo Star Contest on the All for Pets page at clickondetroit.com and tell us what makes your pet special. We might just put him on TV. We can't wait to see your entries. All those cute pictures and great stories are just so much fun to look through. 1,016, 1,000. <laughs> if you've entered before, please enter again. We can only pick one pet at a time, and there are so many great ones out there. I catch uh, Charlie Tickles hitting send on her entry every time this comes around. Yeah, Zen secretly waiting for his big break, too. In the meantime, we invite you to join the All for Pets Facebook page and follow All for Pets on Instagram. We have great communities of pet lovers in both places. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.